Somali rebel terrorist group Al-Shabaab says it has seized an armed drone which belongs to the U.S. after it crashed. The unmarked drone, uh, which the group said was armed with six missiles. The news was first announced over Al-Shabaab's official radio station. Sheikh Abridaraham Abu Mohammed, the group's governor in that region, said it crashed away from civilian areas. And then the fighters came and took it away and have safely removed the missiles from the drone. But the U.S., the Pentagon, says no way, this does not belong to us. Um, they, they, they are rejecting Al-Shabaab's claims. And they put out a quick little statement uh, from that statement. In the, um, I'm just taking one piece. They said all AFRICOM assets in this area are accounted for and they know where they are. Uh, AFRICOM, of course, uh, referring to U.S. military operations in Africa. It's, it's an acronym. Um, so because, uh, you know, when, when you first hear this news, you're like, oh, crap. Uh, a scary terrorist group like Al-Shabaab working in East Africa now has six missiles that could potentially be from the U.S. Uh, that's at first, you know, very scary news. Um, but then you, you look into it more and then you read things like these are laser guided missiles and without the proper technology that's on these drones, uh, you can't really use them. Right. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the threat and the danger is far from over because it's not. Um, Justin Bronk, a research analyst in military science at the Royal United Services Institute, has this to say. The greater danger is if Al-Shabaab has six live Hellfire missiles, they could potentially make money by selling those to foreign powers like China or Iran. There's sensitive technology in these missiles, even though they've been around for a very long time. So, again, uh, this is still scary no matter how you look at it. Uh, just the question is now, is this a U.S. drone or is it not? The U.S. is uh, denying it, but then again, the U.S. is very def uh, secretive uh, with, with all of their operations in East Africa. I mean, most people don't know, while, while Syria and Iraq, uh, you know, grab the headlines, a lot of people don't talk about how, how many bombs we're dropping in Somalia, for example, trying to take these guys out. We're, we're always taking their rebel leaders out yeah. in these airstrikes. I mean, and Al-Shabaab has been terrorizing Somalia in this region of Africa for so long. You had the, uh, they just planted, a, took responsibility for a bomb mm -hmm. um, in a, a, a Somali official car that happened um, earlier today, I believe. Yeah. And then, you know, they had the attack at the resort where they killed a bunch of tourists. They had the attack at the university where they killed a bunch of students. You know, so they're, you know, just horrible in this way. And so for the U.S. to not come out and say we that this drone is ours, these missiles are ours, it's it's it could be a cover your ass tactic for them, you know, and the, the sad truth of the matter is that we'll never know because they have been very secretive about their ongoings in this. But we do know that drone strikes are a huge part of the way that we are going after ISIS and their leaders and their banks and things of that nature. And so it only makes sense that we would have a drone in that region. And if it was found, more than likely, I mean, it's, it's you know, kind of a safe assumption to assume that it, it's probably ours. Right. And, and drone strikes ramped up by the Obama administration mm -hmm. more so than any other president uh, to date. Um, but you have some very good points. I mean, um, we don't know. And there's clearly, and I'm going to be honest here, there's really no way of knowing right. at all. Uh, because the Pentagon probably isn't going to come out because, like she said, that's a bad look on us, right? Our, our drones are falling out of the sky and now all of a sudden some rebel leaders who are very uh, violent people, who are terrorists, take uh, the missiles off and now they have our missiles. Not a good look. But at the same time, you know, it, it is a possibility because Al-Shabaab has been known to shell the air base where these drones take off from regularly. I mean, there's regular reports of them shelling at these air bases. So perhaps, you know, they had a lucky shot and there was some malfunction. Maybe it was, you know, a short or something. And there's so many reasons why this could have fall, fallen out of the sky. And there's also very many possibilities of who it could belong to. So, like I said, we'll never know. Uh, but for now, Al-Shabaab does claim that this drone and these missiles do belong to us.